Namaste everybody, Pranam. And in this video, I want to cover something that I've been getting a lot of questions from people, which is related to meditation and people seeing certain colors, maybe purples or bright lights, or some people seeing some shapes appear, or some people actually going a little bit deeper to be able to go into the visual. Now, in meditation, when we start to see and experience these things, the biggest question people have is, is it real or is it my mind just making this up? How can we tell the difference? And if we are seeing certain things, what is the purpose? Why are we seeing these things? So I want to dive deep with you in this conversation we have today. But before we get into it, show real. Hit it. Hey everybody, this is Shri Akashna here and in this video we want to dive deep in the conversation of meditation. And why is it that some people they see certain shapes or see certain colors? Is it real? Is it not? Is it your mind making it up? And people will always go through this confusion. And if you continue to have this confusion, it will be extremely difficult for you to actually go deep into meditation and be able to uh, taste the nectar and be able to feel the mystical and magical powers of the universe. So, um, first of all, uh, if you guys do have like a notebook or journal or something, I always recommend people to uh, grab a journal to actually write all these uh, teachings down and learnings down because otherwise it comes in and goes out the other year and you forget everything. Okay, so then you can use it in your practice too. When it comes to meditation, right, we need to understand this. When we see something, it is there, right? You could not possibly see something that is not there. Now you're saying, hey, but what if my mind was making it up? Even if your mind, your mind cannot make up something that is not in existence already. Remember, energy is everything. Everything is energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. Meaning, even if we could see something from our imagination, it is because once upon a time, something in existence we've seen was there. So we cannot make things up. And the thing is like this, when we see it and we question it, we come back. I'll say that one more time. When we see it and we question it, we come back to this physical limitation of a reality. Okay. Now what this means is, if you were to go into deep meditation, I know some of you do um, our open portal meditation, probably some of you are part of our Creator Circle Plus also, you join in the, the Saturday uh, meetings that we have, the Saturday hangouts. Now, once when we do that, a lot of people, when they close their eyes and they're there through the third eye portal, they start seeing shapes, they start seeing colors, they start seeing things appear, and then they start to question. Now, the easiest way for me to explain to you is, uh, relating it to your experiences with dream. Okay, now dream is a whole new uh, conversation in itself because those of you who know a lot of the dream work that I do, uh, I express how dream is basically you entering into a, uh, another parallel dimension. So it's in existence, it's real, it's not fake, right? It's just humans don't know how to explain it so they just call it dream what they don't know how to explain they call it deja vu you know they just give it names right so it's the same scenario as when you enter into dream now i want everybody for a moment just to recall a time where there was a dream that you enjoyed you were in that moment everything was real like your emotions were real you you either got upset or you got really happy or you got fearful it was real Nobody can deny that that moment was real. It's just when you come back, you're like, oh my God, it was just a dream. You say it was just a dream. That's what humans say. But no, it wasn't just a dream. It was you were somewhere else because you weren't here, right? It is your existence somewhere else. And what tells you that whenever you think you are awake in this dimension, that this is not actually the dream dimension, right? You have nothing to say otherwise. 
because we are just going from dimension to dimension. So with meditation, it's very similar. If you want to go deep into meditation, obviously your meditative state is not here. If it's here, you would just keep your eyes open and look around your room. That's not your goal. Your goal in meditation is to dive deep, to be somewhere else, to experience some bliss, some peace or manifestation or whatever it is you, you, your purpose is in going in meditation. So you are looking to go somewhere else. But the problem is in the single thing that will stop you from going deep into meditation is the mind. Because your mind will say, wait there a second. I'm just making this up. Wait there a second. This can't be real. The moment the mind speaks, the mind is the physical thing in this physical reality that brings us back. So that's why whenever I take people into meditation, I say suspend thought. When you suspend thought, then you can go deep. Don't think. Don't question. Don't think. Witness. This is the power of witnessing. Okay. If anybody is confused by when I say witnessing, what type of meditation is that? If you do want to know, just type inside the comments below. Maybe I create a separate video teaching you guys witnessing meditation. Right? It's most powerful because then we are not being consumed and being brought back into this dimension. Right. So whenever you question, whenever you start a dialogue, you come back. Meaning when you close your eyes and you are deep into meditation, you see a shape. What if I was to tell you that every shape Everything that you see is something if you go into it. But usually you don't because the moment you see a shape, you start questioning. Is this real? Is this not? Wait there a second. I'm not anywhere else. I'm actually here. Otherwise, I won't be able to hear the sounds that are here. So I'm actually here. Maybe I'm just thinking. Maybe this is just visualizing. Maybe this is just imagination. So your mind goes crazy. Try next time when you see the thing, you see the shape, you see the colors, just be there, witnessing the color, without dialogue, no thought. You're seeing it, you're observing it. Now the way for you to go deep, because it could so happen that that square you're seeing, why is it in that corner you're seeing a square that is slightly darker? It is the silhouette, it is the shadow, because the moment you enter, it is a window to a building. Maybe it could be this, why am I seeing lines down here? You don't know what it is. It could be the case that if you allow yourself to go deep, once you bypass the mind, you see it's a train track and you're actually there, you're somewhere else. The biggest thing that you can relate to again in this experience is dream. You've all witnessed, we've all witnessed before. When you have a dream, you really enjoy and then suddenly you get woken up into this existence. Your mind starts thinking, what's that? What's that noise? You come back and you're like, man, I really enjoyed that dream. What happens next? So you go back into dream. You somehow wiggle your way back in. Right now, you probably don't know how, but next time you do it, you will see the exact process and how you do it. And usually it will look and feel and sound a little bit like this. You will remember, let's say, for example, you were in a house with certain people You'll come out and you'll be woken up and you'll be like, wait, there's like, no, I want to know what happens next. So what happens is you close your eyes and you kind of relax and you kind of visualize those people again, that scenario. It starts off with shadow, silhouette, shapes. Then when you, re when you set the intention and you relax, you enter in and you're back into that room again with the dialogue in that experience is exactly how you enter deep in meditation also. So next time you see the shape, you see the colors, you see whatever you see, the lines, whatever you see, just be there witnessing it. You set the intention to go in without trying. Being in flow with the universe and all the parallel universes is all the fine line between discipline and surrendering. Don't try. Okay, I need to go in there now. I need to go in there. No, I need to figure out. No, no, no. No thinking. Set the intention. You see what you see. You're witnessing. You effortlessly relax and allow yourself to sink in. Allow your soul, your energies to sink in to seeing. And then the picture, the space, 
everything, the surroundings, the sounds, everything will reveal itself. And then you'll be able to go deep into meditation. So deep that the small things like fly flying around or something crawling over you or something you will not feel because you're so engaged in that moment just like you are when you are in dream dimension hopefully this has brought some clarity to your visuals and what's happening and give you some clarity in terms of how you can practice going deeper into meditation if it has and you enjoyed this video or you learn anything at all please do hit the thumbs up hit the like button also comment below with any questions you guys may have i'm sure once we open up this box of consciousness a lot of questions will come from there so type it inside the comments below and if i see a common question i may produce a video to answer your question for you and finally if you're new to this channel and you haven't already remember remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Ciao.